During the meeting at Dragonstone to discuss marching full force on King's Landing, Daenerys states that she does not want to be known as Queen of the Ashes, i.e. she doesn't want to rule over a country that must be destroyed to be conquered. Olena remarks to Daenerys that Marjorie was the most admired queen within living memory, among both the nobility and the small folk, but now all that remains of her is ashes. She concludes that for Daenerys to claim the Iron Throne, she must be feared as well as loved, a trait Marjorie lacked. After the death of her grandmother at the sack of Highgarden, the Lannister Tarly forces are attacked by Daenerys Targaryen, in which the surviving lords are asked to swear fealty to Daenerys. Despite the threat of death, Randall Tarly announces that he already has a queen in Cersei. However, Tyrion reminds him that Cersei killed Marjorie, who was the rightful queen consort of the Seven Kingdoms. When Jaime Lannister returns home to King's Landing after the sacking of Highgarden and the Battle of the Gold Road, he informs Cersei of Olena's involvement in the murder of Joffrey, and explains her motivations to kill him in order to protect Marjorie from the gruesome nature of Joffrey. In addition, Marjorie would have been better able to control the more calm-natured and naive Tommen. He remarks that Olena, her son and grandchildren are dead and that House Tyrell is officially extinct. 